What's up guys? Welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit. This is your host, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash I don't work here, lady. Alrighty, this story's called Nice Old Lady Gets Help, Mean Old Lady Gets Arrested. Sorry for formatting, I'm on mobile. <laughs> but so, okay, I'll start with some background information. I'm about six feet tall, have long hair for a guy, and I'm about 16 years old, and am apparently an old person magnet in stores. I'll be referring to the Karen as mean old lady. Okay, so today it was a strange day. I was just studying my test for tomorrow when I realized that I ran out of snacks. It was about 10 a.m. at the time. So I figured I'd just go to the big chain store a few blocks away from my house. Looking back, I should have known most old people shop at those hours in my hometown, but I was just hungry for snacks. I'm not really scary, but because of my purple jacket, black pants, and man bun, and earphones, in blasting rap music, I didn't really look like an employee. Or so I thought. I was just browsing the store to find some snacks and maybe something for dinner that day. As I ducked a search between the salted nuts for a decent looking bag, I felt a hard tap on my shoulder. I turned my music off and turned around, only to see a nice old lady asking if I could help her. I always get asked to help by old ladies. I don't know why, but they always seem to like me. So I say, sure, what can I help with? She says that she wants a microwave but can't lift it into her cart. I tell her that I'll come with her so I can help. I already had everything I needed, so I just tag along with the nice lady and help her with putting it in her cart and onto the belt. I kept talking to the nice old lady and she asked me why I was so nice to her, so I say that I just try to help elderly people when I can. She tried to pay for my snacks too, but I rejected her offer because I had my card ready. Already. <laughs> when I put her microwave in her trunk, she slid a 10 euro bill into my hand and said it was good to see that some people still behave well. Ugh. After the nice old lady drives off, I realized that I forgot to buy potatoes for dinner, so I ran home, dropped everything off, and went back in. This time was less wholesome. I entered the store and went immediately to the okay, immediately to the potato. I tried looking for the best bag because the chain was known for their potatoes that have more black spots than any other store. So I find a nice bag of good looking big potatoes. As I'm lifting the big bag onto my cart, I hear a groan and tapping of a shoe on the tiled floor. So thinking that I was standing in the way, I tried to move aside, but the mean old lady isn't having it. She starts to groan even louder. Knowing that I messed up, I turn around and guess what I see? A not so nice looking old lady. She was probably around 60 but was wearing clothes a 20 year old would wear. I'm talking a crop top and light blue jeans, three sizes too small with sandals on and of course she had the haircut but more gray than blonde. I try not to judge anyone one, but she was on another level. She loudly said, Finally, I have been trying to get your attention for at least five minutes now. I say, sorry, I was paying attention. She then started screaming at me about how she demands me, not asking, but demanding that I would help her put her stuff in her car after she pays for it. I tell her that I am not going to do it because she screamed at me. She then says, You have no no choice. You have to. It's your job. I saw you outside helping the other lady 15 minutes ago. I tell her, first of all, I am not an employee here. And second of all, if I was, I'd decline to help you due to your behavior against me just now. Then I try to walk away, but now she is in alpha Karen mode, so she tries to push me aside. She was kinda on the bigger side, so her push with all force kinda was harder than I expected. I end up tripping over a tile that sticks out partially and face plant into the aisle next to me. The Karen, knowing what she did, screamed, Ah, no, don't touch me! 
Hey! I was completely stunned by her actions, so I didn't know what to say. So an employee arrives, and she starts crying and telling him her lies while they walk to the closest bench so she can sit to rest after being jumped. I try to get back up myself, but due to my bad landing, I managed to hurt my back and couldn't balance myself properly, so I just decided to just lay down and wait until someone arrives. Luckily, an old man saw everything and came up to me to help me up. I said I can wait and that I didn't want him to hurt his back helping me up, but the old guy wasn't taking- I get that, that you're trying to be polite to him, but I think- I don't know how polite that guy would have taken that, honestly. I'm like, yeah, try to help me up, old man. <laughs> Throw your back out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Could be seen like that. But the old guy wasn't taking no for an answer. He just picked me up gently and gave me his cane to lean on. Okay, well, never mind. That makes sense. He had a cane. And giggled, my wife makes me use it just in case, but I don't need it now. As soon as I thank him, the manager arrives with a not so happy look until he sees me barely being able to stand in the old man. He asks me what happened and I tell him my story and the old guy backs me up. He then said to me that the police are already on their way and that we can stay in his office until they get there. As soon as we hear sirens, I feel scared. I am an underage boy with a man bun and am being accused of assaulting an old lady, so in my head, my life is over. Better than being a grown man assaulting an old lady. I am trying not to puke out of stress while we wait. After mean old lady did her story and said I should be fired to the police because, yeah, the police can fire me from a store I don't work at. Shaking my head! They come to me and start asking me questions. The old guy is still with us and getting bored. Just says, Jim, apparently the manager's name, just show them the camera footage instead of wasting this kid's time. The manager says, okay, yeah, and turns a screen to show us the entire thing on security footage. I was so relieved to know that I had proof now. After 10 minutes, this guy asks if I would like to press charges. I I said I'll contact him with my parents later. He gives me his details and we walk out. Me too, but slowly. The officer then cuffs the mean old lady and she keeps screaming all the way to the car. The old man said he was the manager's old supervisor and was also shopping for dinner that day when he noticed Karen bullying customers. We laughed a little bit and I ended up buying his groceries as a thank you for helping me and I'm now in the hospital waiting for the results, but they think my back will be fine. Was it worth it? Probably not. Was it on purpose? Probably not. Did she deserve it? Definitely! I may be the butthole for not helping an elderly lady, but she was well capable of it, if she can push me to the floor. I agree. That lady was obviously crazy, and you were probably scared at some point, because an old lady pushing you to the ground is not something you expect to happen during your day. And when it does, I'm pretty sure it throws you off. Balance. All right, this story's called The Entitled Mom That I Broke With A Song And Dance. It has been a while since I've been mistaken for working at another market. For a while, it seemed every other month I'd be in a store, shopping comfortably, and someone would come out of the woodwork and demand help, recognizing me from Failmart. But with the Brovid-19 crisis and the institution of masks, I've been happily incognito whenever I've gone in search of better prices and selection from the cult of sale. At Failmart, I moved to another position from the pharmacy and now work the door, handing out masks and wiping down carts. It's a terrible job, but I'm making more money doing this than any other job, so figure that one out. I've also changed my look. I am no longer a rock and roll yeti with long hair and band t-shirts, but dress more like a respectable member of society. I have discovered I'm quite the clothes horse. A fancy wool overcoat, a green vintage army jacket, a leather biker jacket, whatever I feel like tossing on that day. Hats, different shoes, various different pants. The point I'm making is that I do not look like my fail mart alter ego when I'm out and about. I wear a black ball cap, a black faux military coat, and a name tag. I wear this day in 
and day out, but never in my civilian life. With the addition of the mask, it's difficult for customers to recognize me. However, big snowstorm heading into my area, forecasting a foot of snow and sub-zero temperatures. I decide to forego shopping at my home store and head off to another superstore in the area in search of propane, ice melt, batteries, the usual prepper stuff I try to lay in when it's possible. I'm gonna be snowed in for a few days. Got my cart, listening to the in-store music, playing the same tired 70s and 80s inoffensive fluff they always do, and it happens. I pause to grab a bottle of hot sauce and the much-feared call of the entitled Karen. Hey! Hey, yo! Nope, not me. Can't be calling for me. I'm in a wool coat and a stylus Stetson! I am not working! <laughs> Ah, crap! She actually whistled at me! I turn with dread, and yep, there she is. One of my Fail Mart customers, and one of the more infamous ones to boot. Let me describe this woman. She's basically spherical. A screwed up, angry face, beady eyes, and has a habit of wearing stained sweats no matter what the weather. She comes into Fail Mart and demands an electric your cards and will get extremely huffy if none are available. I have run my ass ragged trying to meet her demands and never get a thank you. Her daughter once stole someone's cart for her from the bathroom area, but that's a story for another thread. So she's straining the store's electric cart, leaning over the handlebars and glaring at me. For once, her devil spawn are not with her. Took you damn long enough. Get me a full 40 pound bag of rock salt now! I wanna get home before the snow! Now, since I have a lot of time to think at Fail Mart, I sometimes amuse myself by making up little songs. Anything to make myself giggle and keep my mind off my soul sucking job. Where can I get one of those? <laughs> I glare at the woman, take a deep breath, and off to the races we go. To the tune of the Oogie Boogie song from Nightmare Before Christmas. You're joking! You're you're joking! I can't believe my ears! You're joking! You're joking! You think that I work here? Ah, uh, that's not how it goes at all, though. Look at me, dear lady. Tell me what you see. I've got no damn name tag, so please just let me be! I don't- I don't think that's right. This guy should've picked better lyrics. <laughs> I start doing a soft shoe dance in my boots, slowly turning about, arms akimbo, showing off my non-fail mart attire. She's now staring at me like- like I've suddenly grown an extra head and it's making googly faces at her. I don't know why you're thinking that I help all that I can, but for now, between you and me, I'm not the fail mart man. I grab my cart, spin it around like it's Ginger Rogers and skip off down the aisle singing. You're joking, you're joking. I glanced a look over my shoulder right before I took the turn and she was still sitting there, mouth agape. Excuse me, sir, that's her big Mac to part. Be respectful. I couldn't stop grinning for the rest of my trip. Uh, well, hey man, anytime someone sings in public, I'm down for it, all right? At first, I thought that was a thing just in movies or whatever. Then I started doing it, you know, just making up a song as we go. And it's fun, and it's something you can incorporate in your life. Like, here I am sitting in my closet, out here trying to make a bank deposit. Now here I am, it's adulting time. I'm trying not to commit a crime, to have fun and make money, hopefully meet a girl sweet like honey, and to just keep up out of the dirt, all while I'm wearing my Hawaiian shirt. Yeah! All right, here we go. This story's called, It's My Car! They're my groceries! Get out of my way and let me leave! I have lots and lots of stories I can share here, but this is my first time posting on this sub. This happened today, and well, I figured I would share it. So, with how lockdown has just been lifted, my city is back to the red zone. The whole situation has me more than a little scared, so I do almost all of my shopping online and do curbside pickup. I have to buy a 
a lot of food because it's not just me at my home. I have my sister living with me and a very large dog who only eats what I prepare him. No store bought dog food. My sister and I had went to the shop where I placed this week's grocery delivery and parked at the curbside pickup. I let my sister drive. She always pesters me to drive my car because she likes it too much. But I called ahead so the delivery was brought right out to the pickup spot and I loaded up my shopping. I told my sister to go park the car while I moved the trolley back to the return section when of course a Karen sees me and tries to flag me down. I was only half paying attention to what was going on so I just started to head to my car. Just as I get to the curb to cross to the parking section, the mean woman grabs my arm and yanks me. It doesn't take much to throw me around. I am only 4 foot 8 and 80 pounds after a big meal. I could literally eat you. With no warning and nothing but rage, literally not even 6 inches from my face, she screams at me like full on rage screaming. Thank god I had my mask and plastic face shield. Yo, face shields look kind of nerdy, but like, I respect them. But she screams at me because I ignored her that I have to come now and load her car up. I was so confused. Like, I said, why? Of course it's my job, she screams. I am still really calm at this point, and I just point out, um, look at me. I'm in a red dress. I have no name tag. I don't work here at all, like seriously. And I smack her hand off me and just walk to my car. She followed me and blocked me from getting in, just screaming at me for being a disrespectful little bibbo, screaming and swearing. My sister is still in the car, but can instantly tell I need help. I keep a really big knife in a box in my car in case of emergency, you never know. My sister pulls it out and just says, back off or you're going to get cut. I know she shouldn't have done it, but it was funny as hell to see her face go white and just waddle off as fast as she can. And she waddled away, waddle waddle. And she waddled away, waddle waddle waddle. And she waddled away, waddle waddle waddle. Till the very next day, ba 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 da da. All right, this story's called Lady Steals My Cart From My Hands. I, 30 male, have a baby face. And more often than not, people ask me if I work here when I'm doing my groceries. I just entered the supermarket. I grabbed a cart and was waiting my turn to go wash my hands. This old lady takes my cart from me and walks away with it. I guess she thought I worked there, but Jesus Christ, the self-entitlement of some people. Flying fuzzy sausages. That does sound ridiculous. Like, wh what does she think this is? Ridiculousness with the with your host Rob Deerdeck? No, this is Daily Dose of Reddit with your host Rob Deerdeck. Oh shoot, did I just reveal something? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.